Hello there, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch and I am in Bradley County today, Bradley County, Tennessee, and I'm at my buddy Percy Sheely's second secret barred owl location. Uh, he couldn't stay, but he did bring me by here and show me where it was and then he took off. But there are a pair of barred owls that are just flying around in this little area. There's a tiny little creek right down here and the barred owls must have a nest around here somewhere because every once in a while they'll fly by and uh, I haven't gotten any in-flight shots so far, but I've definitely gotten some perched shots of these barred owls. Listen, you can hear them every once in a while making their barred owl sounds. So I'll show you some pictures and then I'll keep on working. Here are the barred owl photos. And in this first shot, I'm at a full 500 millimeters, although I didn't use 500 millimeters for most of these shots. In this next shot, I, as you can see, I'm only at 270 millimeters. And in this one, there's kind of a branch blocking the bird quite a bit. Hopefully in some of the next shots, we'll be able to see the bird better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Look at this puffed up barred owl as it's looking right at us. Heather helped me choose this shot to be the thumbnail shot for this video. In this shot, it looks like the owl and I are playing peekaboo with each other. And I think the tail feathers uh, are interesting looking from this angle and you can see the talons a lot in this shot. On this one, I intentionally zoomed back to 167 millimeters to kind of try to get all the beautiful trees in the shot with the beautiful owl who was looking at me. I'm continuing to photograph the barred owls here at Percy's secret location number two. I'm using the R7 and the 100 to 500. Um, I've brought the 800, but I definitely don't need it. And I brought the 100 to 400, which it would probably do fine for the majority of these shots. I haven't used the entire 500 millimeters much, but uh, I am enjoying photographing these beautiful birds. Well, what do you know? I managed to catch one of the barred owls as it was in flight. And look at how thick its legs and feet are leading down to those talons. And here is one more in-flight shot of the barred owl. I think these were actually kind of in the same sequence. So it was really cool to see the barred owl in flight and to catch it. And down in the ditch, there was this beautiful looking ebony jewel wing. You know, that 100 to 500 lens is an excellent lens for um, larger bugs making macro photos. This is a 400 millimeter shot. And look at this. This is when it was almost at the end of the evening. It was starting to get a little bit darker. And to brighten up the shot, I used 1 50th of a second handheld. Well, I think I'm going to call that a photo shoot. It's starting to get pretty dark. My shutter speeds were getting crazy low. I think the last few shots I did were 1 50th of a second. So we might as well be done. I hope some of those shots came out good and that you enjoyed them. And as always, thanks for joining me. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.